Let's spend a few moments talking about the major platform as a service offering that Microsoft Azure has, and that is Azure SQL Database. Azure SQL Database, like we have said, is Microsoft SQL Server deployed in a platform as a service on the Azure cloud. And there's a lot of reasons that it's such a popular choice and it's maybe a first glance choice that you're gonna make when you're thinking about deploying a database management system in the cloud. And of course, it has a lot of things that are appealing about it, right? It's easy to set up, it's easy to manage, it can be inexpensive, it scales well, pricing is all included, so it's simple for billing. Yeah, there's a lot of reasons that you would wanna consider Azure SQL database. So let's dig into it a little bit and talk about what it is. First of all, your primary use cases for Azure SQL database are gonna be workloads that need the latest stable SQL server release without you having to worry about buying new licenses or upgrading your existing services. Obviously as a platform, as a service, the platform, the SQL server itself is gonna be managed by Microsoft and they will be able to keep it up to date with the latest stable releases. High availability is also a big deal with it. Uh, Azure SQL database and platform as a service in general. And we'll talk about that in a minute. But of course, if high availability is a need for your system, you really need to ensure that you have a frequently available database. Well, Platform as a Service Azure SQL database is going to do that for you. It's also very great at handling a variable load with fast scaling. Because the Platform as a Service can be scaled automatically without our involvement, that scaling can happen very quickly and very easily and respond to changing user needs and changing traffic patterns very, very quickly. So some of the features of our Azure SQL database, those are gonna include, well, like we said, automatic application of updates and patches, right? You need the latest security updates, you need the latest patches, you need the latest stable version release of SQL Server. Well, you know that that can happen behind the scenes without your involvement, and a lot of the times without even any downtime or at least with a minimal interruption in service quality. You also get a high degree of scalability. We'll take a look at some of the options for our Azure SQL database platform in a moment, but you can go all the way down from simple, small, single core, two gigabit databases to large hyperscaled um, databases that rely on multiple cores, many gigs of RAM, you know, hundreds of gigs of hard drive space, whatever it is that you need for your database deployment, you can achieve with Azure SQL database. 99.99% availability, that is the uh, baseline availability that is uh, granted in the SLA for Azure SQL database. They even have some higher priced tiers that are actually at 99.995% availability. So if you have a really highly available need, that's going to be an option available to you. You've also got great point in time restore options as well as geo replication for disaster recovery and redundancy. Uh, an important part of being a database administrator today is ensuring that you can fall back to or restore from old backups. Well, Azure SQL database offers options that are as little as a five second RPO. That's right, you can roll back five seconds in time if you need to and recover your database from before something negative or something bad happened. Along with geo replication, because Azure is so widespread across the entire country, you can store your databases in a lot of different places, replicate your data out to those different places, ensure that it's redundant as well as locally accessible if you happen to have a remote or distributed workforce. And Azure SQL databases includes a lot of continuous monitoring and threat protection so that it can ensure that your security is up to par and up to speed and that you're not vulnerable to attacks and it includes both TLS and TDE, transparent data encryption choices, so that you can ensure your data is secure and safe when it's deployed in Azure SQL. Now there are two basic options for deploying an Azure SQL database that we're gonna talk about here, the single database option and something called Elastic Pool. These are largely the same. The difference is with the Elastic Pool, you are sharing hardware resources with multiple Azure SQL databases. So again, you'll see in a moment that there is a distinction, even in Azure SQL, the platform as a service, between the infrastructure platform and the software platform, the actual database itself. You can deploy multiple databases into a single hardware infrastructure platform in something known as an elastic pool. Now there's also another option called a managed instance. And that works a little bit differently than an Azure SQL database. So I'm gonna talk about that in another video, but know that managed instance is something that you will hear about. Uh, sometimes when you're looking at your Azure SQL database choices. Pricing for Azure SQL databases is pretty cool. There's a lot of variable pricing options. One important one I think is something that uh, Microsoft calls the hybrid benefit. So typically your pricing for something like Azure SQL database is going to include the cost of your SQL server as well as the cost of your underlying Windows server, right? Both of those have to be licensed. You have to pay for those licenses. But when you use your hybrid benefit pricing, you're only paying for your Windows Server because you are relying on your existing 
SQL Server uh, licenses to license your options in the cloud. And while this is obviously a choice available in the infrastructure as a service options, if you're hosting your own virtual machines with your own operating systems and your own database deployments, you've got to bring your own licenses to the table there. But this is a neat way that you can also achieve that same benefit with the platform as a service option. Even though Microsoft is managing the entire platform, if you have the hybrid benefit licensing option available to you for your on-premises SQL servers, well, you can extend those licenses into the cloud, into the platform with Azure SQL database hybrid benefit pricing. There's also discounts available for development and testing environments. So if you're thinking to yourself, well, you know, it's nice on-prem, we can do a lot of development and testing. We don't have to worry about licenses for that. Those discounts, those license discounts are also available inside of the cloud. So that covers a little bit about the Azure SQL database option, the platform as a service option. Let's take a look at my Azure SQL database that I happen to have deployed here inside of Azure. Uh, you can see here, it's all I've got deployed right now. There's both an SQL database in an SQL server. I talked about the fact that the server and the database are separate from one another. So when I deployed this, I'm gonna click this database here. Uh, we can see that this database is associated with a server. It's not associated with an elastic pool, although I could create an elastic pool if I wanted to. My pricing tier here is the basic pricing tier, but I can change that. If I click this, I'm allowed to configure and change it. This basic pricing tier, which if I scroll down here to the right is gonna be yeah, about $5 a month, gets me a two gigabyte database and five DTUs. We'll talk about DTUs in another video when we talk about deploying databases, but DTUs are basically a measure of how much we use the database. As we scale up, you can see here under standard workloads, I can choose my database size all the way up to 250 gigabytes and even 3000 DTUs. Premium, I can uh, choose even more options as well as reading scale out and zone redundant databases. vCore pricing allows me to actually provision a specific amount of virtual cores that I need available. So there's a lot of options here for how we can configure the underlying platform of our database as well as the other features that Azure SQL Database offers, such as geo-replication, synchronization, and even adding Azure Search. A lot of this we are gonna discuss in our videos on managing and maintaining and administering relational databases. I just wanna highlight them for you here inside of the Azure portal so that you can see where some of this information is found. So that is the Azure SQL Database. Microsoft's platform is a service database for Microsoft SQL Server. We're also gonna talk about some other database engines that you can deploy on the platform as a service, such as MariaDB and MySQL in another video. But I think you'll find that Azure SQL Database is really one of the most popular choices, of course, because Microsoft produces both Azure as well as SQL Server, both their products. So these are two products that they've ensured work really, really well together. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.